this Crunchyroll that so much Crunchyroll drama. But here's another video from Chibi that says Crunchyroll betrayed anime fans again. Remember all the videos that we farmed this week about Crunchyroll? No, this is new. This is like phase four now. Let's go. Most of you have probably seen the drama and controversy that Crunchyroll has gotten themselves into. Yeah. The whole comment section removal, with it even stemming to news articles as well. That's right. It was the BL Yaoi show, the homophobic comments. Crunchyroll, you did the nuclear option rather than moderating. Is end that stuff. What was the other drama? Well, the other stuff was, I guess, other than removing features, there was like the price increase too. To the whole AI translation controversy. Right, there was the AI subs with Nokotan stuff as well and woke localizers. That has been just bubbling for a while now and it's just an ongoing conversation. And eventually this has bubbled to such a point to where even now Asmongold is pitching Baldi. in on the situation. You know things are getting a little bit out of hand. Or so to speak, it's definitely reaching more of a wider audience now that Asmongold... This is so funny right now because like I've already reacted to Rev's video, but now this is Rev's video that I reacted to... But Chibi has a video of Rev's video that Asmin is reacting to, but then Chibi is reacting to Asmin's video where he's reacting to Rev's video, but I'm reacting to Chibi reacting to Asmin react himself is even commenting on the yeah. subject. Now, this video that I'm doing today is a follow-up video talking about basically the subject of what okay. Crunchyroll has done and how they have betrayed anime fans, but also what's next? What are we going to see going? What are we going to do? Unsub. Stop using Crunchyroll. Vote with your wallet. Make them hurt where it hurts. Review bomb. Cancel the servers. Pirate. It's that simple. Unite. Monkeys together. Band together. We can be strong. But monkeys divided and conquered alone, we are weak. The corporations will milk us, okay? Going forward. First of all, I just want to say that Crunchyroll really put their foot in their own mouth. And I know for a fact me even mentioning these words and even making these videos about Crunchyroll I've been doing for a while. We ain't getting Crunchyroll sponsorship. We, listen, we are, <laughs> we're doing enemy reactions on YouTube. You think I'm gonna get a fucking Crunchyroll sponsorship? Hell no. But yeah, Echidna also voices concern, right? A lot of other anime tubers that wants to, you know, maintains that bridge between Crunchyroll sponsors and whatnot. It's all getting burnt up. Definitely is going to remove any potential sponsorship that I could ever have with them out the window. It, Fuck it's definitely not going to happen. Because Fuck obviously when you speak negatively about a company, they're not going to want to sponsor you or do brand deals, etc. But I keep it real on the channel. I say it like it mm. is, which, Ooh. you know, that's just how I've always been. I don't want to lie about things. Let's I, go, I, Chibi. I will talk about what I want to talk about, and that's just that. So getting into the point... Crunchyroll, their main objective where this all started was them to basically just silence bad comments, bad actors, so to mm -hmm. speak, in the comment section. And, and their excuse is, in order to protect our community, we are going to remove the feature that creates a community. Yeah, prioritize creating a safe and respectful community. No, you know what they're protecting? They are trying to protect their bottom line by saving money instead of using moderator tools rather than investing into ways to censor and moderate these homophobic and hateful comments they would rather just delete it entirely saves money regardless of what really it came from if it was because of a character cross-dressing or whatever you know a series like that regardless of whatever the case may be there has been so many anime on this platform hundreds upon hundreds thousands of anime that you could just go through that have legitimately done so many things that's like controversial that there's been a and don't forget they also removing the anime too where the fuck is bleach right now a lot of drama about and the fact that crunchyroll finally said enough is enough and disabled the comment section as of late as i said in my first video it was very clear that the way they did this was more or less something that they were intending to do eventually they just needed a a reason so to speak yeah and the thing about this is just it shows the entire disconnect of Crunchyroll and how they no longer really care about the audience and the people that actually support them to be where they're at right now and let's get into that Crunchyroll as a site started off as legitimately a, a pirate, pirate site. site it is that's right somehow they were like basically anyway they were like annex steel right it's just a streaming pirate site that eventually started to get 
legal licensing and the rights to distribute like legally anime streaming, right? This was a pirate site. It was a site that literally had features that, you know, did what actual official sites couldn't do at the time. And that's what brought Crunchyroll into the mainstream audience. Why it became okay. popular and why eventually it became a uh, actual official source for anime. Why it became a legitimate website. But Crunchyroll's origins does spawn from a pirated website. Typically, people want to watch anime for free. Now, I'm not going to get on that moral high ground and talk about if it's right or not. I'm not getting into that. The point of the matter is, is that Crunchyroll, where they started at, they were a pirate site. So, a company that starts like that, you think would understand what makes anime watchers want to come back and what makes anime watchers want to... Big booba waifus. Lollies. Traps. I don't know continue using their said site. If you offer a bad service, a bad product, they're going to go different locations. And when you do this, fundamentally, it alienates a good chunk of your base. Now, I wonder about that, though. And I know that removing the comment section sucks, absolutely. But, like, again, are we making an outrage off of a small section of the community that actually use the comment section? Because I just feel like the average monkey using Crunchyroll... The average person didn't even know comment section existed and didn't even use it. Maybe this is like 5 or 10% max of people of people that use Crunchyroll that actually depended on the comment section. And this won't really impact them at all and they'll just continue using the service. Like, they just didn't even know that it existed, right? I, I wonder about that. Now, I, I want to get into a, oh, sorry. a big topic, which is one of the reasons why I brought up Asmongold. Asmongold here in this video, he talks about the whole situation. He has a lot of good valid and great points yeah. and stuff. And he talks about how, like, he never used the comment section, even though he has technically been... Yeah, because Asmin is a fucking normie. And you, right now, I love the comment section. This is your first chat in my stream, Shareable Carcass. And for sure, right? I, 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 I acknowledge that you use the comment section. But you are probably in that very small percent because like what are you doing right now you are in my stream i'm a, like a niche streamer like a small channel with 159 viewers coming into me reacting to chibi about this topic and you saying it so i don't think you're the normal person i don't think you're the average just anime watcher that just watches it should passively like i think as is a pretty big normie in, in anime content and even like he didn't know about the comment sections a uh, Crunchyroll subscriber for many, many years. Now, obviously, this can vary from person to person, depending on how deep you are into anime culture and anime watching, etc. So I understand that varies. But I feel like the big hardcore base mm. for anime, at least that's been into it for a very long time. Again, hardcore base, which is going to be a fraction of what the real amount of people using Crunchyroll is long time definitely go out of their way to probably post comments and talk about discussion it is something that you know is what drew me to even make my channel to begin with is to make discussion on anime and manga to just talk about these topics because i just i want to engage in conversation with people and so the comment section for a site is incredibly important i think yeah, it's like I agree. to be separate people i go to reddit to talk about episodes or go to twitter to talk about episodes like discussion is the most important thing engagement with other community members other people and talking about things that you enjoy that is what a community is or youtube and my comment section talk about episodes i think it's incredibly important to just have engagement around the series and people yes. talking about it and so crunchyroll disabling comments is basically the exact thing to really just showcase you no longer care about your hardcore fan base anymore. People that actually want to support you. On top of that, Crunchyroll keeps raising prices and their subscription service keeps going higher and higher. And there's been controversy mm -hmm. about that in the last year or so. And even despite all of this, the price is going on and up. They're removing features. And it's just like you're removing features. That's the craziest shit. They're taking away features. They're taking away specific animes. Echidna said this shit too, right? It's like, how are you going to lower the value proposition? Position of your subscription service while at the same time increasing the price of that you're like this is this is you're getting fucked on both ends right this is like <laughs> okay in terms of like i guess just regular life like economy stuff like inflation this is what's called shrinkflation and inflation where it's just like basically a bag of potato chips used to cost five dollars Right? No, sorry. A bag of potato chips back in the day cost like two dollars fifty cents. A big bag, two dollars fifty cents. And then later they doubled the price while also lessening the amount of potato chips. And so now you're getting charged five dollars, but you get less of it. How the fuck does this make sense? 
features making us have to pay for this product that's a lot higher than it used to be, it's like, why are we even around? Which explains why pirated content for anime is honestly one of the most popular versions of pirating. Now, Based. I'm, I know, I, I don't know the statistics or the math on it or whatever, but I do know in general when it I was actually surprised at the amount of people that didn't even understand how to find like torrents or streaming services and stuff like that, right? I, I think that the average person knows how to type Tower of God episode, watch for free on Google. And there's going to be like 20 separate pirate websites that you can just watch it on for streaming, right? But then there's a layer after that where you're trying to torrent and, you know, do other stuff. A lot of people, a lot of normies, a lot of the people using, you know, watching anime, they actually don't know. They straight up don't even know what torrents are. And they're kind of scared about pirating. They're, that's why Netflix kind of gives them the ease of mind. All the UI that they're familiar with is like convenient for them. So as crazy as it sounds to me, but like I grew up, like I straight up don't tell, you know, uh, whoever owns Lord of the Rings. But back in the day, long, long time ago, when Lord of the Rings, like uh, the, the, what was the, what was it? Like the third one showed up or something. Lord of the Rings Return of the King, before that shit even came out in movie theaters, I think my dad found a pirated chi a, a version from a Chinese website and showed me it. <laughs> Same with the Matrix. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? How did you get this, dad? We don't have to go to a movie theater. I mean, I'm a Goo Goo Gaga baby ass at that moment, but like I was introduced to that shit a long time ago. So it's just like secondhand nature to me. But a lot of people, a lot of people genuinely don't understand how to access this kind of technology. When it comes to pirated content, anime is definitely probably one of the, the top, or the top most pirated type of content around the world. And the thing is, is that from the very beginning, the reason why anime is as popular as it is and why it has such a cult following is because a lot of people had to go out of their way to find episodes of anime to watch. I know for a fact back in 2007 and 8 and all that, the you know, the internet was still kind of young at that time. Mm. You know, I remember I had to go to YouTube, literally pull up YouTube, and I had to type in <laughs> youtube you type in anime episodes and then it'd be the shittiest like quality with like maybe like spanish subs or something but you still watch and it's like part one and then you'd have to try to find part two but you can't find part two but you found someone else's channel that had part three but it's not the same the place that where you left off of and it's just yeah watching tv shows or movie through youtube <laughs> the random yeah absolutely absolutely and like let's say clan ad episode one part one yes. slash three just to be able to watch an anime episode that was done by fan translations i did stuff yes. like that. i was one of those people that watched anime episodes dubbed or subbed on youtube back in 2007 yeah. a very different time period and it just that's how it was it, anime was fundamentally very different but basically a lot of people that watched anime going in a years ago it started off as them pirating content and today this is still something i think that happens a lot because with rising prices of subscription services all around the world with different services etc people are not going to want to pay for every little subscription service for what they want to watch and since anime is easily one of the easiest things to pirate yeah, obviously people are mm -hmm. going to pirate anime. It just it's a it's a thing that happens. So Crunchyroll for a very long Which blows my mind how Crunchyroll even became successful. Like I I just don't understand how people they just spend money on Netflix and Crunchyroll and all these paid services when it's like you have the internet. But it just goes to show how many people the vast amount of people have no understanding of how this shit works and is more resistant toward, you know, using that kind of uh like streamings or like torrents like like that long time now, they have been the alternative to pirating. I have always stated for a very long time for the last decade plus, I don't think Crunchyroll's perfect. They have a lot of flaws, a lot of issues. They've had, like, site crashing, which, you know, this video, which Rev talks about and Asmongold reacts to, it basically states the very points I'm saying here, is that Crunchyroll's site, it's had crashes on nights where there's an acclaimed episode, let's say Attack on Titan, Dragon Ball, etc. They have had subtitle delays to where, like, an episode will literally come yeah. out and they'll say it's... Or, like, leaks, right? Leaks, or, like, security, user security info getting leaked as well, right? English subbed, and there'll be no subtitles for a good few hours. They'll have random delays on episodes that just come out of nowhere yeah and like not proofreading fucking ai subs that got sent in that was kind of botched for like nokutan too right all sorts of little glitches and problems to subtitles getting into the whole ai translation you know drama that's been going on it's just been a constant back and forth of problems throughout Crunchyroll site for a very long time not even getting into their web browser or the browser of like their video format of watching an episode they used to have a lot of problems a lot of glitchy nature etc mm. so factoring all this in Crunchyroll's always had problems and i have definitely highlighted these problems 
problems for a very long time. But despite these problems, Crunchyroll has always technically been an easy access source for people to be able to engage with anime. Obviously, it's not offered in every country around the world, and that is one of the big reasons why people are drawn to pirating series in general, but Crunchyroll, it was an easy access, because with their obvious monopoly at this point, to just, like, how many anime they have on their catalog, paying, like, maybe five or six dollars a month isn't necessarily too bad if you're a mega it's not anime too bad. fan. But as they continue to have more problems and more issues continue to arise on their platform, they continue to push people away from their platform to pirated sites. And I want to be completely blunt with you. Okay. I'm not going to say that it's a good Pirate. Just pirate. Be a pirate king. Listen to Luffy. Nakama. Say it, Chibi. Say it, Chibi. Good thing to pirate. But I understand why people pirate. Okay. When you continuously disable comments, yeah. you take away features, you push people away, that actually is what caused you to be popular, obviously, people are going to go alternative means. Yes. It's, a, uh, it's a service issue. It's a service. The free market will simply behave the way the market wants. You're going to give a shitty service, people are going to stop using that service. They'll look for other competitors or other means to get that product. If you can just print anime, if you can just stream anime, why wouldn't you just do that instead of just paying for a shitty service? It's just that simple. That's what it really does come down to. And Crunchyroll's service has definitely been deteriorating as time goes on. There is no denying that, especially with the whole debacle with obviously this and AI translations. And that's not even getting into probably other things that is just slipping my mind at this moment. But um, backing up for a, a bit and talking about in general about this video... The thing here is, is that Asmongold brings up the comment section, and yeah. I think this is an important thing he says. He's like, he didn't even use the comment section, he's a mm. typical person that just watches the episode. Exactly, right? And I think there's a lot more people like Asmin, where they're just there for the anime, didn't even know comment section existed, and I understand, you guys are the hardcore audience, right? But like, exactly how many of you are there compared to the other people that uses Crunchyroll, and will that affect this boycott Crunchyroll be movement, which it's, it's not even a thing, but like, if you truly want Crunchyroll to be better, you need to vote with your wallet. But are those people going to do that? The people that, just like Asmin, the normies? And I think that is completely fine. It's completely fair that a lot of people might not even care about the comment section or might not even know it existed. And I have commented on the YouTube comment section quite a bit, or not YouTube, but the Crunchyroll comment section a little bit over the years. Yeah. Not like as often, like, it's probably a lot of people, but the thing about it is, there's communities that have been formed on these series. Like, you know, you go in, let's say you went to a Dragon Ball episode. I'm pulling this up, I'm gonna pause it, obviously, because I don't yeah. want to get copyrighted. But, like, you pull up a Dragon Ball episode, obviously can't see the comment section anymore, wah, but imagine wah. the night this released, okay? And, like, everybody was talking about it, either on Twitter, yeah. Reddit, etc. There was definitely comments. All the memes, all the comments. It's always fun to kind of join in on something that's trending and live, and you feel part of a, something, right? You just feel like you're part of the newest hot thing, and you feel that sense of community, but you don't got it no more. Loaded, all underneath this, discussing this important event, or this crazy episode for Dragon Ball, the final episode of Super, and it's like, it was a cultural phenomenon, and a lot of people probably met friends on this site, in the comment mm. section, that they talk to often. Like, when they went to, let's say, a new anime series, and they were watching, let's say, the new stuff from the season, they might have saw people they recognize in the comment section, and they just mention and talk with them, and, and maybe that's the only time they've ever interacted with them. A lot of people potentially lost their friends when Crunchyroll decided to shut down the comment section, which is... That's sad, but I feel like this is not representative of vast amount of people. Like, I, I totally get it, but like, if you're gonna come up with the argument that like, friendships are being lost because comments are gone, that's, I'm not sure if that's the best way to go on about this thing. Like, for sure I can acknowledge that, but like, it's, again, the most important thing is how much does this shit matter? How many people were fucking making friends there? Right? And like, will those people now vote with their feet and fucking go somewhere else and make friends roll better? That's what I want to know. Pretty sad when you factor all that in. It's really sad that Crunchyroll just did not consider anything in this regard. Now, the the point in why this happened in the first place, which is brought up very early on in this video from Asmongold himself and also Rev, it's because they don't obviously want to pay for moderation. They don't want yep. to pay yep. for like uh, money, you know, people Min -max. to moderate the comment section or anything. It's just easier to shut it all down, and they save money. It's very smart. Business-wise, if you're a company wanting to save mm -hmm. money and basically be able to cut cost, it's definitely smart. You cut out moderation because... And, like, they could have straight up... Again, it may smart, seem smart right now, but in long term, what if this is the thing that pisses people off and stop using the service? Don't you think that Crunchyroll has statistics and analytics 
Don't you think that they understand exactly how many people uses the comment section based on all the users they have across the board and realize that there's an insignificant amount of people that uses this service right now? And it's causing us a problem regarding, you know, looking good for PR, for sponsorships. We're doing, you know, we're with Sony now and stuff like that. If we want these brand deals to go through, if you want to look squeaky clean, maybe cutting off the comment section is not big of a deal is the data driven decision that I think Crunchyroll made. But again, these are just theories that I have based on my understanding of how just big corpo works. Like these corporations are not stupid as as much as you think that they're dumb. Their main goal is to make as much money as possible. That's the only thing they care about. So do you think that they would do something that would hinder them? Who knows, right? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I think that they have a number and they realize that the amount of people using this comment section is insignificant in the grand scheme of things. And we can get away with it is my understanding. Is why do you need moderation if there's nothing to moderate? So factoring that in, yeah, ma it makes perfect sense why a company do it. Is it a good thing? No, but uh, it is smart. Now, the fact that uh, they disabled even comments on news articles, etc., I think is legitimately bad. News because articles? it basically means even if they get something wrong, there's nobody that can really call them out on it, unless it's on a different social media platform, which obviously is going to happen regardless. But it's just like, it's not a good idea that they completely shut down any form of conversation. It's basically saying, we don't want to hear your voice. We don't want to hear your opinion. We don't want to hear what you have to say we want to completely shut you out because we don't care what you say just give us money that that's basically what they have done now one other thing i want to tack on here though before i kind of start to slowly wrap up this video asmongold talks about like uh anime fans and how <laughs> we are and i think that he honestly perfectly yeah. summarizes how we truly are i'm just i'm gonna let this play and i I'm gonna guess that he called them apathetic, lazy bastards that don't actually care about this issue and monkeys cannot unite and therefore a crunch rule will get away with this and we're basically wasting our time. That's my guess based on how black-pilled Asmin is. Then I'll talk about it. Getting so stupid nowadays. You're expecting too much out of the general public? I did, listen, if you're an anime watcher on the internet yeah. and you're commenting in a comment section about an- Uh-oh. I don't, I don't feel good about this. Anime? Are you guys ready? You're about to get destroyed by the bald man himself. Protect your feelings because he's about to rip you apart if you use the comment section. You are not a normal person. Okay? <laughs> Let's be fucking honest. It's just sad. <laughs> well, that's a little bit out of context. Like, what is determined as normal, right? It, it, that, that's a little bit out of a clip section, right? Maybe he's talking about the amount of, like, the average consumer compared to that. Like, compared to the average consumer, you're not normal. Therefore, you use the comment section. Who really knows? He, he's not wrong. I honestly, <laughs> as an anime watcher, as someone that comments, comment sections, etc., he's not wrong. Yeah. And I think that his comment is, like, he's saying there's a lot of dedication to anime fans as well. Yes. Anime fans that go out of their way to comment on stuff, etc., know their stuff. They know things. And they're not the average individual, so to speak. So the fact that they do that, it's just like... Once again, th th those are the hardcore fans that Crunchyroll has alienated as well. But I'm going to leave it at that. I wanted to talk about this. It's just this conversation has obviously gotten a lot more noticed thanks to Asmongold's involvement at this point. I think it's a good thing overall. I think that he makes a lot of solid points, and Reb does as well. I highly mm -hmm. recommend you to check out their videos as well. I'll link them in the description. But um, I'm just going to say, though, I'm glad to see more conversation around these problems that these companies have been doing because obviously it's going to make a better space eventually. If they continue to get called out, they won't be able to get away with stuff like this. But yeah, anyways, you all have a fantastic day. Or and that's pretty much it. Guys, go give Chibi the like he deserves. What's up to his channel if you haven't? But this topic, at the end of the day, if you really want corporations to, to like admit their faults or apologize or, you know, bring the comment section back or make the website better, you cannot do that by, you know, just keep using the website. Monkeys need to unite together. They need to collectively say, let's stop using this, let's boycott and then let's use a competitor or something else. Either a competitor's platform will show up that can do it legally, or more likely people will just go to streaming and torrents. But looking at the statistics, looking at the number of people that probably uses this function compared to the vast amount of other people that didn't even know it existed, the normies, I just feel like this is a... It, this problem will be just like forgotten about in two weeks. I think it's just internet sensationalism. Trunchyroll is going to get away with it. Monkeys cannot unite and they'll continue just using their shitty service. And just again, at the end of the day, you want change to be made, vote with your wallet, vote with your feet, do something else, do something else.
fucking learn some lessons from Luffy, the Pirate King, to be.